thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And the word of God says, Psalms 147 together, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Galatians 5.22 The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 1 Thessalonians together, Be happy all the time. And Proverbs 17 will tell you the reason why you need to be happy. And it says, A happy heart is good medicine, and a cheerful mind works healing, but a broken spirit dries up the bone. What is good medicine? Read that again. What's the good medicine? What works healing? Say happy, happy heart. Say cheerful mind. Everybody say, I'm happy. Amen. Let me begin by telling you a story about this doctor who goes to a home for the aged. Something like Anuim, the one that we have in Montalban on a five hectare property where we take care of the abandoned elderly. This doctor went to something similar, a home for the aged. And the guy in charge of the home said, Doc, you need to talk to these three guys, these three old men. Their, their, their minds are like, you know, getting weaker and you know, they're not thinking straight. So the doctor said, I'm going to give them a test. So the doctor goes to the first old man and he says, Grandpa, Lolo, tell me, three times three. And the old man said, 274? Oh boy, oh boy, the doctor said, this, is, this doesn't look good. Go to the old, second old man, Lolo, three times three? And the, and the old man says, Tuesday? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, boy. The doctor was really just shaking his head, looking up the ceiling, and he said, okay, okay. Let's go to the third guy. Lolo, three times three. And the old man said, nine. And the doctor was so happy. Wow, great. How did you get nine? And the old man said, well, 274 minus Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to talk about the emotions today. Everybody say emotions. And emotions can be so complicated, it's almost like 274 mi minus Tuesday. That's how complicated emotions are. Agreed is agreed. It can be so convoluted. It's amazing how, co how complex and how difficult emotions are. But we're going to try to make it simple. 3 times 3 equals 9. We're going to make it as simple as we can. There are three ways of looking at your emotions. How many, how many ways? The first way is by looking at your feelings as monsters. Everybody say monsters. monsters. You know, you can look at your emotions as monsters, as enemies, something that you will not touch, something that you will not even feel. You will not feel your emotions. You will not feel your failings. You know, what's going to happen is you're going to be like, like a stoic. Everybody say stoic. stoic. In, in Tagalog, it's manhid, you know. Stoic. You, you, you can tomorrow morning, you know, with your office mates, you can say hi. Um, do you know what stoic means? Uh, I know. <laughs> stoic. Uh, let me give an example. You know, somebody wins the lotto, and, and somebody who is stoic, manhid, will say, uh, Hi, uh, what, what happened? Um, I won the lotto. You know, you don't want to feel the joy, or you, you don't want to feel the sadness. You know, stoic, manhid, because emotions are monsters, enemies. I do not want to even acknowledge that. that so, so, you know, you go to a guy and the guy, how are you? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Really, what happened? Well, I, four days ago, uh, my, my car had an accident, it was a total wreck. Total wreck! And then three days ago, my house got burned and everything was gone. Your house got... And then two days ago, I was fired from my job. I, I lost it. And then yesterday, I went to my doctor and he said, I've got three months to live. <laughs> Aside from that, I'm okay. <laughs> there are people who treat their emotions as enemies, as monsters, and they do not want to touch them. They don't even want to feel them. They don't even want to talk about it. They don't even want to acknowledge it. The second way of looking at your emotions are as, uh, emotions as masters. Everybody say masters. Meaning to say you obey everything that your emotion, what you feel you do. These are people who come up to you and say, I'm not plastic. 
I, you, what you see is what you get. You know, I feel angry, you'll, you'll, you'll see me get angry. And I'll say what I want to say because I am not plastic. Guess what? It's important not to be plastic, but it's more important to be loving. Did you hear me? No, you didn't. It's more important to be loving than not to be plastic. It's important not to be plastic. Emotional honesty is very important. But in the, val- in the hierarchy of values, love is more important than emotional honesty. But to be emotionally honest... You know, when you're angry, when you're seething mad, and you're about to say, brothers and sisters, can I ask you a question? How many of you have ever had someone speak to you hurtful words that wounded your heart and was very difficult to erase? Have you had that experience? We've all had those experiences. How many of you have said hurtful words you wished you didn't say? Raise your hand. You know what? During times of anger, of great incredible rage, close your mouth and be plastic for a while. You know, go out and say, excuse me, I just need to breathe. <laughs> Lord, stop me from saying it. And then after a while, go to have, be emotionally honest and tell that person, you know what? I, was, I really got angry. I got so hurt when you did that to me. Or when you said that thing to me. I was going to say some things that thank God I didn't say. But I really got hurt. Be emotionally honest. But do it in a loving way. Is that clear? And here's the third way. The first way is to look at emotions as monsters. The second way is to look at your emotions as masters. And the sec- third way is to look at your emotions as friends. Friends that you accept, that you acknowledge... You don't obey your, mon- your friends every day, anything they say. You discern. Everybody say, say discern. discern. Here are the three ways of how to empower your emotions. Are you ready? Everybody say, I'm ready. I'm ready. The first way to empower your emotions is to feel your feelings. Everybody say that. Feel your feelings. Feel your feelings. To acknowledge that what you feel. You know, how many of you have ever experienced sadness? Raise your hand. Ever experienced grief? Raise your hand. Ever experienced uh, a worry? Raise your hand. Ever experienced envy and jealousy? Raise your hand. Ever experienced anger and rage? Raise your hand. Have you experienced all that? Yeah. Guess what, brothers and sisters? It's okay. Tell someone beside you. It's okay, it's okay. to feel those things. You've got to acknowledge it if you're sad. You know, you just say, I'm sad. You know, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm envious. I'm envious. You know, I'm, 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 wor- I'm worried. I'm worried. You just have to feel it. But, but here's the key. You know, understand that emotions give you gifts. Three gifts, very important gifts. Let me tell that to you, number one. It's not here in the notes. Number one, the first gift is that it's, it's to reveal to you who you are. Number two, it's to bring you closer to God. And number three, to give you a message to move you towards growth. so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to the Rigma family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.